anything on that tooth. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I am here with another Met Gala inspired look. This is of course from the amazing SZA. I think that's how you pronounce your name. S-Z-A. SZA. Aquila. This makeup look was actually created by a makeup artist called Samuel Paul Makeup and I just thought it was really cool. I love the blue. Blue is so in right now. I did kind of change it up, make it a little bit darker underneath and stuff just to add my own flair to it. But yeah, um, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. My eyebrows are done and I did just a really light layer of foundation um, just to speed up the process. Um, if you want to check out any of my other videos to see how I did that, you can. I still am going to contour and stuff in this video um, but I'm going to start off with my eyes like I always do and in this look she has quite like a light brown kind of smoky eye on top and then the big smoked out liner and then the blue on the lid so I'm going to just kind of recreate that it's kind of similar to the Kim Kardashian Met Gala look that I did I will leave a link in the description down below for you to that video if you haven't checked it out yet um, so it's kind of similar process but I'm going to just use some different products um, I'm actually going to be using my Jack and Hill palette here you can see I've used like some of these colors to death but I'm actually gonna stick with like these this kind of color here I think I'll use first and maybe like these two I'll, I'll see we'll mix it up so I'm just gonna blend that first shadow right into my crease this brush again is the p310 brush from powder and pout so now that that shadow is blended in, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier liquid liner. This will just focus. Thank you so much. This is in the shade Ink. It's just a black liquid kind of pen liner. Super handy. And I'm just going to do a big wing. I'm just going to take a slurry. A slurry? <laughs> Take a slightly um, darker brown and I'm just gonna like smoke out over this liner. It's very similar to the Kim Kardashian eye that I did. I'm gonna go as dark as the Kim one, but I'm just smoking it up a tiny little bit. I am gonna change it up a tiny bit from what like SZA, SZA's makeup artist did. Um, I wanna put blue underneath because blending this out loads. This is like a really just easy way to do a quick smoky eye as well, just putting the shadow over the liner. Like you could definitely just leave it like this and wear it like this. Um, but not me, I'm not gonna stop here. I'm gonna keep going. The wings are done. I'm now gonna take this, it's basically a bobby brown like sparkle stick it's called. Oh guys, this is the shade Aurora pink and it basically looks like this. I'm gonna just put this right in here. Just taking the powder and pout P325 brush and I'm just blending this right out. I'm just taking this pigment from Peaches Makeup it actually has no name on it, but I'll try to find the name of it for you. And I'm just using that same little bullet brush from Powder and Pout and a little bit of Fix Plus spritz onto it just to get that really intense blue kind of sparkle coming through. Okay, so this looks a bit mad at the moment, but I'm going to go in with this glitter here. This is from Inglot. This is XL7. I think they still do this. Basically, it has like a blue kind of hint off it, but it's quite like a thick glitter. So it just gives it that extra, ooh, just gives it that extra bit of oomph. I'm going to spray this P410 from Powder and Pout. It's a P410 brush. I'm just going to spray this with some pick Pix Plus. <laughs> Fix plus. Dip that into the glitter and then I'm literally just gonna press this on top. Just like really makes it stand out a bit more. I'm gonna have to go over that liner one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and use this YSL blue liner. So this is the waterproof eye pencil number nine. It's just a really strong blue. I got this last week when I was in London with YSL and I really want to try it because like, you know, blue is the colour. 
I'm just gonna put this underneath in my waterline. Just gonna smudge this out. Literally just by blending it. Just added some lashes and it's a bit too blue underneath here for me. I just, I need a bit of contrast. So I'm just gonna put the Charlotte Tilbury bedroom black curl pencil right into my waterline. I legit have the wateriest eye right now and it's like not okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But I'm gonna just do some inner corner highlights. So I'm just taking um, just a highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is summer, this is from the Glow Kit, uh, what can I put this from Sunlipped? Just put this right in the inner corner. She has like a super inner corner highlight in this look. So I'm gonna use two different products. So this first is gonna be the one that I'm gonna put down. I'm gonna take the Cover FX Glitter Drops. And um, this is in the shade, I don't know, Mirage. These are really cool glitter drops and I'm gonna just put this right at the inner corner just for some extra glitz and glitz. Set underneath my eyes with some Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm literally just gonna dust this off. My eye is just so watery and it's so annoying. So funny different pigments like react so differently to like my eyes like different shades like pinks and blues and all that they just kind of make my eyes a little bit watery I don't know why I'm gonna just do the huge and contour with my Anastasia saddle bronzer which is this one here um, and the brush I'm using is another powder and powder brush this is the P120 brush it's just an angled brush I'm literally just gonna sculpt out my cheeks and of course I'm gonna just bring it up onto my forehead as well I'm gonna take this blush here this is from Radical and it's called Copo Copacabana it's a really nice coral peachy pinky I don't know it's a nice blush I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm just putting this like right on top and just blending it up because my eye is watering it's like the makeup god saying you shouldn't have put blue underneath, you should have just stuck to what it was like in the picture. The same brush that I used to contour, I'm just going to put some highlighter. This is the same Anastasia highlighter that I used in the inner corners. Just a bit glow. I'm going to move on to my lips. Strip down lip liner from MAC. Just outline. Lipstick I'm going to use is a shade called Nude Kate from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm just going to pop this in the center. So this is the finished look from my SZA inspired Met Gala makeup look. Um, I hope you enjoy it. This eye is just not doing it for me. I, I had to take the lash off and reapply it. So I don't know what it's going to look like on camera. But I'm just trying to not think about it. Because the more I think about it, the more it waters. Um, but yeah, I also just curled my hair just using a really small curling wand. And literally just took tiny sections and just went over it. Not much to it at all. And then just clipped it up because this is kind of how she had her hair at the Met Gala. I'll put a picture right here so you can see. And that's kind of what I was going off. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.